Like, let's yeah. just see what happens. Right. Let's just roll. <laughs> That's right. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. So we're really fired up today because we are at Front Street Taco in Beaufort, obviously on Front Street. It's actually right down near Beaufort Olive Oil, near the Rum Bar at Stillwater, kind of in that area, just so you can envision it. And we are here with Liz Kopp and her husband, Dusty, who right. are the owners of Front Street Taco. Um, you may also know them from Backstreet Pub or from Turner Street Market, which are two of our other favorite spots in Beaufort. So y'all are in luck because Front Street Taco just opened last night for in-person dining here in the space. And so we're here to give you guys the scoop. So thank you for being here with us, Liz and Dusty. We're excited to have you here. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the idea for Front Street Taco and where it came from. Ooh. Well, I would give Dusty a ton of credit for that because he is obsessed. And by obsessed, I truly mean like he would eat tacos every day. He's obsessed <laughs> with tacos. So um, he also has a degree in business. Frankly, I just got tired of making Mexican food every day, Mary Cheatham, and decided that we should have a taco really? shop. Outsourced. In you outsourced it. Yeah. To the best. Right. Yeah. I now I can right. have tacos every day. Now this is his dream. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. That's so great. And I love, y'all, we're going to show you guys around the space in just a minute because the decor is so cool. They were so smart. And I love that it focuses on Frida Kahlo. Am I saying her name right, Frida? You are. You got okay. it. And then the other person is Virgin de Guadalupe. Okay, so Virgin de Guadalupe. Yeah. Two Mexican icons that happen to be women, and this place is while Dusty's a partner here, it's really run by women, as most <laughs> things are in the world. Now, there right? you have it. There you have it, people. But I love it. It's so great. It's so cheerful and fun and just awesome. So tell us kind of about the menu. I, I know I'd love to be able to speak to you kind of the ladies in the kitchen in just a few minutes. Right. But in the meantime, tell us kind of about what, what tell us about the menu and what your favorite things are. Well, I think the menu has a heavy emphasis on protein, but lots of fresh vegetables, which is pretty typical of Mexican cooking. You're going to find things like picadillo, which is a wonderful, it's, I think of it as like a Mexican hash. It's basically ground turkey and potatoes and a savory tomatillo sauce. Yum. It's awesome. Chef Susana has a specialty she does that's the picadillo burrito, and that's probably my favorite thing. What about Ooh, you? Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, the last two things, I, I, so I, I usually eat the same thing all the time. Okay. I'm a crazy Preacher man. Creature of habit. Right. Uh, I kind of like that. Okay, but yes. <laughs> spicy tinga chicken is what I'm eating. Uh, okay, the now. spicy tinga chicken. Yeah. So do you get that like as a burrito or a taco? Uh, both ways. I, okay. I love tacos, but I recently just had a burrito and I loved it. So. Yeah. Oh, um, you guys, it just sounds so, so, so good. Okay, so what are the logistics? I know that you can get takeout, right? Yes. You can okay. get takeout. You can get... Delivery when we're not too busy, we're working on getting a permanent delivery person, um, and that's been really successful so far. And then you're, we're open from every day except Wednesday, 11 to 3 for lunch and 5 to 9 for dinner. Okay, every day except Wednesday, every day except 11 Wednesday. to 3 and 5 to 9. You got it. Okay, man, I am so excited about this. This is great. Okay, well, what we'd love to do is kind of maybe meet the ladies who are yeah. making the magic happen back in the kitchen. They're the important ones. Well, that's and that's the thing, guys. The thing that's so cool about this this restaurant is that it's authentic, right? So, I mean, really, really excited to try the food and really excited to meet these ladies. So, we'll, we'd love to introduce you to them. <laughs> okay, so guys, now we are so lucky because we have the ladies that make the magic happen. We have Susana, who is the head chef, and Erica, who is the sous chef. So, guys, I understand that y'all kind of have a special term that you use to refer to the food that you prepare. And what is that? Soul food. So it's Mexican soul food. Yes. I love that Mexican soul food. It just sounds, I don't know, um, it sounds delicious and it also sounds like it just makes you feel good. It does. Actually. It does. I love that. It does. Well, it so it makes it good. you, yeah. yeah. So, Susana, tell, Susana, tell me a little bit about kind of the background for the dishes. Like, how did you guys choose what you were going to include on the menu? Well, I, I grew up in the family where you start learning how to cook like when you're eight years old. And then my mom had this gift of cooking. And then my grandma's had the gift of cooking. And basically everyone in the family had and embraced the gift of cooking. So you grew up loving certain foods. And then right. with the years, I started loving it too, like embracing the gift of cooking and then trying to put my my little touch on everything. Yeah. So they became so my unique recipes. 
right. after all, because I was adding. But I think my mom has a gift to me. Right. So, and I learned from my cousins. We used to spend the entire summer on my dad's hometown. So you learn from aunts, cousins, grandmas. So so it's a family tradition yes. that then you've taken and put your own stamp on these dishes so that now they're uniquely yours and you're bringing them to us. Yes. I think that's so amazing. Susanna, what's your favorite dish on the menu? Everything. <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> yes. But my, 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 my sweet empanadas, it's like... It's so funny that you say that because I was looking at the menu. Y'all, there are two notable dishes on the menu, which are tamales and empanadas. So I bet both of those are just unbelievable and authentic. That's the thing about Front Street Taco, right, is that that's kind of a differentiator for this for this spot is and that then, they are true, authentic Mexican cuisine. On the tamales, I would like to point this out. I, root the, I do the red and the red sauce. Okay. The mixing for the red. Yes. But Erika... <laughs> Owns the green ones, and she blew the green Ooh, Eric, stuff. So you're the green sauce yeah, for the tomatoes. Yeah, okay. Uh, Susana is especially everything is uh, red, and I uh, used to be on the green. Uh, Dusty asking for more hot and hot. And and so the, so the green is, is the green the hotter yeah, one of the two. The hey y'all, the green's the hotter <laughs> one of the two. So just be careful. Erica, what is your favorite dish on the menu? Ah, uh, chicharron. I love chicharron. Okay, yeah. and tell us what chicharron is. Sounds crunkly pork. Crunk, uh, pork crackling. Pork crackling. Pork uh, crackling. Uh, with potatoes and green salsa, tomato, tomato. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. Okay, and y'all, I want to mention to you too before we wrap this up that Susana has started a nonprofit. And if you look at the menu when you come to Front Street Taco, it's called Ulican. Am mm -hmm. I saying that correct? No, Ulican. Ulican. Yes. And what this is, is a local nonprofit that is specifically to help our Hispanic population. So that's a, that is a, a demographic that's really been hit hard during COVID and there really aren't the resources in place to help to cater to them. And so Susana is taking the bull by the horns and has started this nonprofit. So we'll make sure that we drop the, their Facebook page in the comments. And the really cool thing that they are doing with Liz and Dusty is 50 cents from every margarita goes towards Ulacan, goes towards this incredible nonprofit that Susana has started. So we actually haven't mentioned to y'all that they do have margaritas and all the Mexican beer. I mean, this is a very important, I'm so sorry that we haven't mentioned that yet. <laughs> but also, when you come, you can drink for a cause. So great news. You guys, thank y'all so much. Thank you for thank being you. here. Thank you. And Meg, come over here because I want to wrap this up by asking Liz and Dusty our favorite question, which is, guys, <laughs> y'all know we always wrap up with, What's saving your life? So what's saving your life right now? I said to Dusty <clears throat> this morning, thank you for being such a good husband. And he said, what do you mean? And I said, you know, because I have girlfriends that their husbands aren't supportive and aren't there. And he's always there. And now I have a uh, Front Street Taco wife and another wife with Susana and Erica. So just this whole family is saving my life right now. That's so amazing. Yeah. That's so fantastic. Dusty, what about you other than getting to eat tacos every day without relying on Liz to prepare them for you? What else do you need? <laughs> uh, I would say something very similar. Um, Liz is making me work way too hard. <laughs> but without that work, what would I be doing? I need I need something to do all the time. And she's providing that for me. There you uh, go. She's not providing the tacos anymore, but I, I'm thankful for... Uh, Spicy tinga chicken. There you go. <laughs> That's a big thing to be thankful for. And I'm telling you, I, I tell you, my I think what's saving my life, I'm so excited. I just love being over here and seeing all the growth and all the yeah. exciting things that are happening. And I love the fact that it's something that is authentic and real and it comes from the heart. There so much. I think that's one of the things that we're finding as we're kind of emerging from COVID is that people have gone back to what feels right, right? And what feels good and nourishing people with Mexican soul food. Yeah, certainly does. So thank you guys for having us this thank morning. You. Thank We've you. We've loved it. Yeah. Thank you. Meg, thank you for being behind the camera. I know y'all miss seeing her smiling face, but she's here. Y'all have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.